Hello, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you another six 60 second hairstyles. And you're going to love these looks because they are quick, they're easy, and they're still beautiful. And I'm also gonna share how I refreshed my flat, oily day three hair and created this really soft, bouncy, faux blowout. It only took a few minutes. All right. Let's get started. Hair prep began three days ago because I wanted to share these hairstyles on true third day hair. They're meant to be quick and we don't always have time to wash our hair. Look at this, we are going to transform it. <laughs> but today's video is sponsored by IGK and I'm so excited because they are such a cool and edgy brand created by hairstylists. And I love that they have a soft side, they're vegan, cruelty free, and Leaping Bunny certified, which is wonderful. Now, I washed my hair three days ago using the legendary shampoo and conditioner. Now, if you struggle with dry hair, especially heading into the winter, this duo is incredible. They really help to hydrate and smooth your hair without weighing it down. I keep getting like little whiffs of them. Their products smell incredible. Now, these are paraben and sulfate free, but you're still going to get that rich, luxurious lather. And next, I went in with their Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. This detangles, heat protects, smooths, and adds shine. Like, I love a product that is everything you need in one. Then I just roughly blow dried my hair and did my secret to the faux blowout, which I'll show you now. But first, day three hair, I need some help. It's flat, it's oily, but luckily dry shampoo exists. So I'm gonna use the First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This stuff is heavy duty. This is my go-to for after workouts or if I wanna prolong the time in between my washes, this stuff really works. All right, to give it a really good shake and I'm gonna be working in sections. I wanna ensure that I get all of the oil throughout my roots and I don't miss any. All right, I'm just gonna let this sit for 30 seconds. It has like a really nice cooling effect and then I'm going to massage it through. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it through my hair. My hair just feels so soft and clean and you can see how much volume it added back into my hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going in with the Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. This is such a cool product. It's not just a heat protectant, but this is also going to defrizz, smooth your hair, and when I apply this before I curl my hair, my curls last for so long. Like this, all this is from three days ago, so I am gonna go in and touch it up. For the faux blowout, you wanna take your largest curling barrel. This one is one and a half inches, and then toss all your hair back. And then starting at the bottom, you wanna gather your section, and these can be large. Like this is supposed to be quick. You just don't want them to be any wider than your barrel. So hold your barrel vertically, and you wanna clamp it onto your section with the clamp on top, so it goes away from your face, and then slowly slide it down your section while slowly twisting your wrist away from your face and then once I get to the bottom I just like to hold it give it a little twist and then let it go and then there you have it a really soft healthy looking bend and it's so quick and you'll see it all come together at the end all right so I'm just gonna repeat this throughout the rest of my hair really quickly and if you want even more body and movement you can alternate with the directions but I'm gonna be doing it all away from my face and on the right side, it's the same idea. You want your barrel on at the top and then just twist it away from your face. That was so quick. Now just use your hands to fluff up your hair. Hair is prepped. Can you believe that this is day three hair? This would take me hours on freshly washed hair, but I will leave links to all the products in the description below. Definitely let me know if you try anything out. All right, let's get started on some hairstyles. First up is the easiest way to transform your ponytail. So begin by smoothing your hair back and gather it into a low ponytail. And you already know, pull out some small pieces to frame your face before securing it with a hair elastic. Now we're going to create a topsy tail, but on an angle. It's so pretty when you do this. So using your index finger and thumb, create a hole off center to the right to the underside of your elastic. And you want this to be big enough that you can fit your ponytail through it. All right, take your ponytail, flip it up, and pull it all the way through that hole. And once it's through, it should look something like this. 
Now, this is so pretty, but if you wanna make it pop, hold the base of your ponytail with one hand, and with the other one, begin pinching and pulling the hair along your twist and all around your crown. And there it is, I love this hairstyle. It's such a simple and beautiful way to transform your everyday ponytail. Next is a beautiful half up braided hairstyle. So begin by gathering all of the hair from just below your temples and pulling out any face framing pieces before sectioning it off. Next, divide your top section into three equal pieces and just begin three strand braiding by crossing your outer sections over the middle and then braid as far down as you can reach and then just hold the bottom of your braid in one hand and then with the other one, starting at the top, begin pinching and pulling on your braid to fan it out. So pull on the sides, the top, all over. You don't want this to look perfect. Then hold the base of your braid with one hand and loosely wrap it clockwise one time so that your ends come out the bottom. Next, take French pins or bobby pins and just secure all around the outside of your bun to your head until it feels nice and secure. And then, of course, finish it off by pinching and pulling the hair around your crown to add some volume and movement. How beautiful! I love how wrapping a simple three-strand braid can create such a beautiful and intricate looking bun. Next is a fun double bun hairstyle, it's fun to say. So begin by smoothing your hair back with your hands and gathering it where you would like your bun to sit. And then of course, pull out some small face framing pieces to soften the look before securing your hair. Then pinch and pull on all the hair around your crown to loosen it up and add some volume. And then grab a small piece of hair from your ponytail and place it out of the way. We'll use this later. Now grab just below your ponytail with your left hand and then fold your ponytail up and then take your left hand and pinch onto your hair into a bun shape. And then fold your hair down and pinch again. So now you should have two buns. Then take a small elastic and loop it over the bottom of your bun to secure everything into place. Now you can leave your ends out, mine are just a bit too long, so I brought them to the left and then I secured them behind my bun by sliding them through my hair elastic. And then take that long piece from earlier and just begin wrapping it clockwise around your hair elastic to hide it and again tuck the ends through the elastic in the back. How fun is this bun? I love how it turned out and this would be great for so many different occasions. I can't wait to see your recreations. Next is a simple high bun. I know you love high buns. So start by placing your thumbs in front of your ears and trace upwards to where you want your bun to sit. And then just scoop up the remaining hair with your other hand. And this will help maintain your parts and all the volume on top. Now, I saw this technique to help with face framing pieces. You wanna gently rub your fingers against your hairline and this will loosen up those pieces and then you can pull them out. Now, to secure my hair, I love using a DIY hair bungee, but a hair elastic works great. Then divide your ponytail into two equal sections and you wanna tie them together by crossing your right section over your left and then bringing the left up and pulling it through the hole at the top. Same as if you were tying a shoe. Then pull both sides tightly and repeat and you wanna tie as many knots as you can. Once you reach the bottom, pinch and pull on the knots to loosen them up and then just secure your ends into a small bun. Now the fun part, wrap your braid to create a bun and if your braid is long, just wrap it underneath itself. Then play around with the shape, fan it out, and once you're happy with it, make sure you secure your ends into place first, and then you can secure all around the outside of your bun to your head, and I really love to use French pins for this. And there you have it, I love this hairstyle. It's such a beautiful way to switch up a good old messy bun, and you could also wear this as a low bun too. Next, another simple way to switch up your ponytail. So first, gather all of the hair just below your temples, and you wanna to try to have less hair in the top section than in the bottom. Once you've smoothed it back and you pulled out your face roomy pieces, secure it with a hair elastic, and I love to place a clip underneath just to help prevent tangles and breakage. Once secure, clip it up out of the way, and then tightly secure your lower ponytail just below your top one. Now the fun part, unclip your top section and create a hole above your elastic with your index finger and thumbs and then flip your ponytail up and pull it all the way through that hole to create a topsy tail. Then with your index finger and thumb on your left hand, come in from underneath your topsy tail through that hole and then twist it to the right. And then you want to grab onto your lower ponytail and pull it all the way through that hole. Once it's through, tighten both your elastics and then begin pinching and pulling on the sides to accentuate the swoop and on your twist to help make it pop. And to finish it off, add some volumizing powder. I love to do this. I find it gives the same results as teasing, but with less damage. 
how beautiful this ponytail was as staple this summer. I love how adding one extra step just completely transforms the hairstyle. Now, I couldn't share 60 second hairstyles without featuring the claw clip. This is really simple. Gather all of the hair from just below your temples, pulling out any face framing pieces before smoothing it back and completely sectioning it off. Next, use both hands and twist your ponytail clockwise about two times and then pinch your twist against your head with your right hand and then bring it up the left side to the top. And then take your claw clip and secure your twist. Now, the fun part, it's so 90s. Flip your ponytail down over your claw clip to create a ton of volume. And if you're looking for even more volume, just use a larger clip. And there it is, you have yourself a really fun and voluminous half up hairstyle. So there we have it. I would love to know which of these hairstyles was your favorite. For me, anything with a claw clip, I'm loving these days. But definitely let me know what you thought and if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I can't wait to see your recreations and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time, bye.